Now, basically, we were able to throw the exception here, right, which is arithmetic. Now, if you can throw the exception, and what if you want to throw your own exception? Let's say I don't want to throw arithmetic exception, I want to throw my own exception. Can we do that? Can I say my exception? <laughs> you can see uh, straightforward it says my exception cannot be resolved. That's why we don't have any class called my exception, but I want my own exception here. Or uh, maybe I can say, instead of my exception, I can say Navin exception. You know what, Navin actually means new. Okay, so it's a, it's a term which means new. Okay, anyway, so I want to have a new exception here. The way you can do that is by creating a class which is called Navin exception and done. Oh, okay, we have to also create a constructor because we are sending a message. So what I will do is I will create public Navin exception which accepts a string, str, okay, string string that works for me and still it is not working. It says, no exception of type Novin exception. Oh, I have created a class, right? The class is there. What's the problem? I have created my own exception and it's not accepting it. See, the thing is, you can't simply create a class and call it as exception. See, exception needs special features, right? And we all know if you want to get something, you have two choices. You can actually build something or you can just get it from your parents. So I can simply say extends exception. So what we are doing is we are getting all the features from the exception. Okay, so you can see Navin exception, extend exception, and now it is not crying. Okay, now the only thing is, if you try to compile this code, okay, not this one, compile first, and run, it says something went wrong. Oh, that's weird. Why something went wrong? I want actually to print, oh, okay. The thing is, you are throwing Navin exception, but you're not catching Navin exception. I want to print this one. That's a default output. So what you can do is instead of Navin arithmetic exception, you can say Navin exception here and you can accept the object and then you can print this message. That's the default output. And also you want to print E to get the message. The message is this, I want to print something. Now if I try to compile this code again and run, oh, it works, can you see that? It says that's the default output and the error is Navin exception. Okay, that's good. Where is this message? I don't want to print zero. The thing is the message which you have sent actually is received here. But this output, when you try to print E here, is actually handled by the exception class, okay? This should know that you are accepting a string. So what you can do is, if you go to exception, even exception has a constructor which takes a string and we all know how to call a superclass constructor. We have seen that, right? So I can simply say super and pass this message. So whatever message you are accepting here, just pass the message to the exception and they will take care of it. You don't trust me? Let me show you. Can you see that? It says Navin exception and it prints the message as well. The message is I don't want to print zero. So that's how it works. You can create your own exception. So just to reiterate, Navin exception is not a part of Java. I'm creating my own exception and yes, you can do that. The only thing is you have to create a class with the exception and this class need to extend exception or runtime exception, your choice. Let's try with runtime exception. And if I clear this, compile, run it works so you can extend exception or runtime exception and the only thing you have to do is if you're accepting a message you have to pass the message to the runtime exception constructor and that's how it works